What's going on, everybody? It's Physical Friday. One of the questions that I get all the time is, how do you come up with a home gym on a budget without a lot of, you know, I don't have a lot of room and I don't have a lot of money, okay? First of all, to get in shape, you don't need a lot of room and you don't need a lot of money. So whatever fitness guru is telling you you need to buy a lot of stuff, you don't. You can get away with doing uh, going on the bare minimum. And in a lot of ways, maybe it's even better. Now, don't get me wrong. I love gear. I got plenty of it and I'm very fortunate to have plenty of gear, but I've been collecting it for uh, almost 30 years. So the answer to the question of what do you do if you don't have a lot of space and you don't have a lot of money, I will tell you what I would do if I were rebuilding my gym right now without a lot of space and without a lot of money. The first thing I'm going to get is a good, safe pull-up bar. Don't get one of these doorway jam-mounted pull-up bars that's going to come down and break your nose. It's worth uh, the extra few dollars to get one that will mount into uh, either the studs in the wall or mount onto masonry on the wall or mount into the rafters on the ceiling, right? It's very safe. And Rogue has a great one. It's $125. So ka-ching, there's your $125 right there. That's the first thing I'm going to spend money on. I'm going to have a good, safe place to do pull-ups. Now, if you have a park nearby or you have uh, a a good place outside, um, maybe it's your kid's uh, jungle gym, whatever. That's great. You just saved $125. You can spend it on something else. But if you don't have that, definitely... That would be my first investment, a good, safe pull-up bar. The second investment that I'm going to make, uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to find some old, rusty dumbbells. If you can't find old, rusty dumbbells, then you can go and buy dumbbells right now. It's probably the most expensive that dumbbells have ever been in the world because of COVID and because of people trying to buy home gym equipment. So you want a mid-range set of dumbbells, something 20 to uh, 50 pounds, something like that. That would be great. It's, it's fantastic. If you can buy more than one set, if I can buy one set of dumbbells, I'm going to buy a set of 25s and those are going to cost you about a hundred dollars right now. So then now we're at $225. The next thing I'm going to buy is one kettlebell and a kettlebell. I'm going to go heavier than my dumbbells. And I'm probably going to, for me personally, I'm probably going to pick a 53-pound dumbbell. So if you're not ready for that, you could go with a 35. If you're way stronger than me, go with a 70. That'd be awesome. And uh, you can do a whole bunch of workouts with the kettlebells. You can do a whole bunch of workouts with the dumbbells. You can mix and match them and put these into a lot of different things. The The next thing that I'm going to buy is a sandbag. Now, a sandbag is really great because it's very, very versatile. All of this stuff is very versatile, and these are the reasons why I'm choosing it. The Rogue sandbags, they're about $115, I think. The Rogue sandbags are fantastic because they're really durable. They come in a... uh, in a in a heavy duty case with a zipper and uh, snaps, and within this are three 15 pound sandbags. So three bags inside of this one. So I can take those three bags out. I can use them as 15 pound weights. I can use them um, for all sorts of things, or I can put them all into this one 45 pound sandbag. With this 45 pound sandbag, I can do a tremendous amount of things. So now we are we're getting close to the budget of $500 that I kind of was setting for somebody that wanted to create a gym on a little bit of money and a little bit of space. If you can find the used dumbbells, awesome. Get them for free. Outstanding. No, the little rust never hurt anybody. The next thing I'm going to buy, these this is where it gets easier. I'm going to buy a jump rope. Now, jump ropes come in all shapes and sizes. You can buy a $200 jump rope if you want to. You don't have to. This one right here from my friends at buyjumpropes.com, which of which I am not sponsored. I'm a good customer of theirs. I buy a ton of jump ropes from them because these will break after a while, but this ought to last me uh, a year or two or whatever. This is about $3, okay? Jump rope, $3. That is awesome. And then I'm going to finish out my entire deal here with a deck of cards, a deck of cards that you can get anywhere. We've had the Tom Roland podcast deck of cards. I'd suggest those. We're in the process of reprinting those, so stay tuned. We'll get some more of those. But in the meantime, get yourself any deck of cards. Deck of cards works 
awesome because you can do amazing workouts with the deck of cards. Very little space, very little, very little equipment. The deck of cards work out. We've talked about it many times before, but if you're new to the podcast, there are four suits in a deck of cards. You put an exercise for each of those. So in other words, I would do burpees for spades. I would do push-ups for clubs. I would do sit-ups for hearts and I'm going to do squats for diamonds. That's just a, 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 a random workout off the top of my head. Every time I turn the card over and like this card turns over, it's a two of clubs. That means I'm going to do two push-ups. The next one is a seven of diamonds. That means I'm going to do seven squats and on and on. You go through the entire deck and you can make uh, the jokers something else entirely and utilize some of your other equipment. But there you go. With Around five hundred dollars, you can come up with an amazing uh, little little exercise area. It's not going to take up any room, hardly, um, and it's really not going to break the bank. So I'll tell I'll do this too. If you want to, um, you can uh, text me. Text the word uh, budget to area code three zero five nine three zero seven three four six. And that's the text that you can um, you can text that word budget. And if you text that, I'll send you ten workouts that you can do with these with this equipment. Ten ten workouts that you can do with nothing more than a sandbag, a kettlebell, dumbbells, uh, the deck of cards, and a jump rope. So if that uh, if that's what you're looking for, hit me up. I'll send you some workouts. And uh, if you are looking for a good um, a good gym in a small space without a lot of money, this will definitely get it done for you. All right, that's Physical Friday today. Fitness on a budget. There's no reason it has to be expensive. None whatsoever. See you next week.